What's going on guys, Jacob Twiner here. Today we're talking about the reason why your cold emails aren't booking you any meetings, you're not getting any replies, and you just feel stuck. I just got off a call with a guy who I helped go from months of failure to 50 emails, two meetings booked, and a deal closed within one week. And all he did was implement this one tip that I'm gonna share with you in this video. So make sure you watch until the end so you don't miss out on anything. And by the way, he got started on his journey of success by getting the free pain-based prospecting training down below. In fact, he attributes most of his success to the concepts that you'll learn in this free training. It's all about building really targeted lead lists. He starts out by saying, I think my list had the biggest impact on my success here for sure. So go ahead and grab that free training. You won't regret it. He is selling conversion rate optimization to e-commerce stores. That's a very common offer to a very common market. Now, he actually is selling it to German market because he's from Germany, and so it's a bit different than the US market. But the fundamental principles still apply. And I wanna talk about what he tweaked, the few things that he tweaked that actually got him really good results. Let me paint the picture for you with the problem. And by the way, I have a whole testimonial to share with you eventually once the course launches. He signed up for my paid course, which I'm working on, and I have a whole testimonial video I'm editing now to share when the course is ready to drop. But I'll just verbalize what we discussed. So the first thing is he had been sending thousands of emails for months without really booking any meetings or getting any replies. He had clients, but he was selling offers that were too small. He was stressed out because he had so much work and he didn't have enough money to outsource effectively. And he also didn't know why his campaigns weren't working. Like he's sending emails, he's trying to follow best cold email template videos, but he wasn't getting any results that can be really frustrating, right? He was just stuck and he didn't know how to scale and he's working tirelessly and his email scripts aren't working and the people he's selling to are stressful. He closed a client here and there, but they were really small. He had to give massive discounts. They were hard to work with. He was, uh, he was trying to sell optimization services to small stores that don't have, they don't have a good design, right? He was trying to sell redesign. He would find stores that had bad websites and try and offer them a redesign. Well, guess what? When you sell an offer to someone who doesn't value your offer, they're not gonna buy. A store that doesn't have a good website clearly does not value a good website. So why would they invest in improving it, right? And even if they did, if they're a small store, if you're running A-B tests and they don't have a lot of traffic, even if you run a successful test, a small store does not get value. If they're making $1,000 a month and you increase that by 10%, you made them $100, great. You can charge 10 bucks for that. If they're making a million dollars a month and you increase it by 10%, you made them $100,000. Now you can charge $10,000, right? Big difference there. All he really did was he changed his targeting and he started reaching out to bigger stores. He was wondering, well, why would a bigger store need to work with me? It was imposter syndrome, but guess what? The bigger stores are the ones that want your offer. They're the ones that have the budget to buy. They're the ones that need what you're offering. They're the ones that expect to pay more for what you're offering. So all he did was tweak his offer from redesign, like pretty website, to A-B testing, I will make you more money. And he changed his targeting from small, poor Shopify stores to larger stores that actually value what he does. Okay, that was one. Two, he also actually built the list himself. And that's what I try and preach in my free pain-based prospecting training. Grab it down below. Your list is your strategy. When you buy a giant list from Apollo or wherever and you blast out with a generic script, no one's gonna respond because they are busy business owners. Anybody who's worth working with is busy and they will not respond to any generic email. When you open your inbox, all you see is emails from colleagues and friends that you actually wanna open and spam. Newsletters, salespeople, whatever. You delete all the spam at once and then you open your actual emails one by one, decide if you wanna reply or not, and go from there. So when you just buy a giant list and you have a generic script, they can tell just in the inbox that you're a fake, you're a scammer, that you're generic, that you're blasting out. They'll delete your email. That's why your email open rates are low. And if you have a big open rate and you're still not getting replies, it's because your script is bad. It's because you're too generic. You're targeting the wrong people. You're targeting people that don't have money or don't value your offer or your offer is just bad. What Andreas did differently is he actually built a solid lead list. He actually researched the companies himself right? He looked at their websites for a few minutes. He just changed his market a bit, went up market a little bit, changed his philosophy from bl blasting out thousands of emails without any replies. He sent 50 emails and closed a deal. That's insane. And all he did was build a list of companies that actually would get value from his service. He looked, he used his brain. He picked companies that would actually get value from his service. And then he weaved that copy into his email script. I've even actually seen his email scripts. All he did was change his niche and build a better list. And guess what? It worked. I think the lessons here, the main takeaways are, A, your offer and your niche has a much bigger impact on your success than you think. It's not about the best email template. It's about the best offer and the, and the right niche. 
Two, if you don't build your lead list properly, if you don't actually prospect companies that actually need what you're offering and you don't have a good reason to reach out, you won't be able to get any results. You won't get any results and you won't know why you're not getting results. When you build a list yourself and you actually factor in, like you look at the company and you think about why am I reaching out to them, it increases your success a lot. You have actual reasons to reach out. You know why they responded or why they didn't respond to you. I highly recommend that you build the list yourself. And C, the last thing, number three, you need to have a framework through which you can test your offers and measure. Trying to go from unsubscribe to booked meetings and closed deals is hard. And there's a big gap in between. And focusing on the gap makes it hard to make progress because you're so focused on, oh, there's so much, you know, I'm getting so many no's, this is so hard, I don't know what to do. That's a big gap. But if you break it up into bite-sized chunks, like step by step by step, and you know what to do, then all you have to ask yourself is, what should I do right now? What do I do next? And learn from your mistakes and keep going forward in life. This is a, a good metaphor, not only for cold email, but for life. You have to t break it up into small steps, take one step at a time, have a goal in mind, but don't let it overwhelm you. And when Andreas implemented these tips, he went from failure to now, he feels, and you'll see in the video, that he, he has control over his business. He finally can close better clients that wanna pay him more money. He can scale. He, he just has more, better feeling of comfort that he can actually bring in the business that he needs on demand. Not waiting for clients to drop out of the sky, not feeling like inconsistent growth and stuck in your business. If you wanna get a head start on this course, Go ahead and grab the free pain-based prospecting training down below. You'll also get access to my Facebook group where you can ask me questions. In fact, I have a video coming out this week or I already dropped, I guess, uh, where I'm giving feedback on a cold email script from the group. So I hope that you sign up for this and you'll get an early access offer to the paid course at a discounted rate than what I'm gonna normally charge. So I highly recommend you jump in. I'm going to give you all of the information I gave Andreas in the course and more. This way you can have success like him. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.